Hello, welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you see my fine face on your screen, my name is Insung Rawili. I share content on master's application live as an international student in France. I do vlog and share this to content. If you say kind of things that might interest you or not, but I hope it interests you anyways, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and show us your support by sharing to others and helping us grow, okay? So I've been sharing videos on ongoing application for schools of some different courses or even you know, just doing Q&A on how you can apply. And honestly, sometimes some schools in France they have like this very short application timeline. But thankfully, there are some schools that they have extended timelines for the application process. I've already done one for like the business related courses like you know, management and all those kind of art related courses or social sciences. So I would like to do the one for science or like computer science, data and other, you know, engineering related programs because of, of course, why wouldn't I do it? <laughs> so I have this particular school that I came across and I thought instead of just adding it as part of like the other schools that are still ongoing for the application, it would be great to do a separate video for it because I just like the programs there. And I thought it's going to be a good thing for you to check out those programs there. And I like the school. And I actually went to stay further to check out the school and I said it was accredited. There's like good rankings, like case of computer science, good rankings in terms of engineering, as it being an engineering school. I was like, okay, well, why not? Let's look at it and make a video separately for that school. All right. So so as not to miss out on any of the important information I'll be sharing with you, because I'm going to share my screen right now. Please do watch it to the end, okay? And like this video. Mm -hmm. The school we'll be looking at in this video is actually IMT Atlantic Bretagne Pays de la Loire Ecole Main Telecom. So that's the full name of the school, but you can just stop at IMT Atlantic. Let's not struggle with the pronunciation of all these names, okay? So let's stop at IMT Atlantic. That's the school I'll be looking at um, today. So if we go to like the Master of Science program, we are going to see like the different master of science program like master of science and optimization of supply chain project management and energy nuclear waste management um communication system and network engineering cyber security i know a lot of persons they like cyber security so you can actually find one in this program data science architecture and engineering of internet of things so that a lot of programs i feel like that are lucrative in terms of like the long-term career plans so um before I go to look at a specific course, let me just take you here to what really interests, what really drew my attention and made me to want to make this video. If you look at on the website, they have a possibility of you either starting in September or you start in January, February. So that's why I actually made this video because like most of you, you want like to you know have different options. So we see here on the site, like if you want to start for September, you have to apply before May 15th. So that's the deadline for those that want to offer programs that you want to start in September of the same year. So let's say, for example, this is 2024. So if you want to start in September 2024, you have to apply before May 15th for this particular one. And we see those courses like in MSc in Management and Optimization of Supply Chains and Transport, MSc in Nuclear Engineering, MSc in Process and Bioprocess Engineering. So for these courses, you should apply before this time. And then for these other courses, they have the possibility of you starting them as well in February. Is that not nice? Is that not nice? <laughs> so you can always start in February. And for these courses, you have like up to October 15th to apply for them. So you have like the MSc Information Technology, Architecture, MSc Information Technology, and so on, Communication System, Information Technology as regards to cybersecurity. So I think the main course is like Information Technology, but the Information Technology does like different tracks. I think it has it like four different tracks. That's data science, cyber security, communication system and network engineering, and architecture and engineering for the Internet of Things. So these are the programs that they have with these different timelines. So now if you now take one particular program to look at, let's take for example the supply chain. Let's take the supply chain for example and just look at like you know what it entails. So for this supply chain program, the scope is actually like from 12,000 euros. But I saw for the data course, I'm going to open it so that you look at it. For the one in data science, was it data science or communications? 
okay let's just take this communications for example i saw you in the communications that the school fee is actually five thousand one hundred euros so we can just assume for this school that the school fees range is from five thousand one hundred euros to twelve thousand euros that's depending on the program that you are going for anyways let's go back to the supply chain so going back to the supply chain program you see you can see like the objectives what they're going to teach you like the career path and so on and you know just you can even see like a video you can watch just to really know more about the program and then it shows you yeah, how to apply the profile they're looking for the academic backgrounds they're looking for in for this program for you to apply and even the documents that you need and then you see like the job opportunities if a frequently asked questions and then to the main program proper to really look at like the the courses are going to teach you in the year one and the ones they're teaching the year two and that's going to help you to make informed decision and it's the same thing even if you want to go for like the information technology part of it you still see the you still have the same information like the job opportunities and then you also have um so you see, can be r and d engineer sales engineer consulting expert telecommunication project leader communication system designer and so on and then if you go to the program as well, you see what they'll be teaching you and data and software engineering introduction to optical networks and so on so this just helps you to make like informed decision as regards to this program to know okay is it worth going for it or not so like i, I mentioned previously you can see like the different courses then that you can take advantage of and you can also see like the different timelines the ones that if you want to start in september and the ones if you want to start in february so they have these different timelines and they also have different school fees depending on what you want so i thought it's going to be a good school for you to consider and i thought you to share with you people my subscribers because of course i love you guys <laughs> and i thought i should share this information with you and being that it's, act it's actually a good school at least i've checked like you know the reviews on it and according to my opinion of course i'm not an expert i think it's a good school and feel free to make your own research and you know just um, decide on what you want for yourself if it's a good program for you i can't really tell you what's going to be the acceptance rate because i've not seen anything on the acceptance rate but i assume it could be high being that i mean it's, it's it's amongst the top engineering school at least from what i saw online but nothing stops you from giving it like you know shooting your shot like i normally say so don't hesitate to apply for this school and fingers crossed you're going to see what's going to happen so really since they have like different start dates so you have like different options if you don't want to start immediately you can always like apply for the one in february okay i hope that helped um i'm going to try to you know look for other ones that that, that have extended timelines for you to start but on the engineering school all those INP schools like it's not just growing up with this you have like to lose school to lose INP as well that's another institute of engineering we have like I think we have another INP in Lyon I'm not really certain but I'm going to try to look at them and see what is their timeline but so this is example or one of the example of schools that they still have extended timelines for like engineering related programs and other ones as well but they could be on the high centers of the school fees anyways that brings us to the end of this video. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned something. I hope you have subscribed. I hope you have liked, please. <laughs> if so, don't hesitate to drop your comments if you have any questions. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye. I feel like I'm